Hello and welcome to my uh, live YouTube lesson. Hopefully this is working. Can everybody hear me? My name is Joe and I'm from Canada. Let me type that in. <clears throat> okay. And uh, maybe there's a couple of people already here. Lolly and Alex. I think I see some writing there. So let's see who else is going to show up. And it'd be good to see other people. It is what it, it's <laughs> Saturday morning here in Eastern Canada, nine o'clock. And I'm up. Hopefully everybody is uh, doing well. And uh, today I thought I would talk about education vocabulary. All right. So these are words that uh, are connected to schools and education and classrooms. Hello, Elise. Hi there. How are you doing? Yeah, I haven't seen you for a long time, too. Um, you can see in the background, we've got some debris. We had a couple of rooms painted in my house, uh, chill, the children's bedrooms. So we had to move things around and our house is still a mess. So uh, we had trouble getting everything back together. So I hope you're doing fine. And I hope uh, you're doing great. Pavlina is here. Hi, Pavlina. Nice to see you again. Long time no see. I was just explaining that I was I have been busy with ho home renovations and painting, and uh, that's why we have a lot of <laughs> debris on the table behind me. <laughs> and we we've started getting out uh, some Christmas decorations. My daughter loves Christmas. Hey. Arif is here. Maria is here. Outlander, wonderful. Herleman, nice to see you again. Great. Yeah. Where have you been? Uh, I've I've been here. It's just, <laughs> it's just we've been working on our house and doing some painting, so I didn't have enough time or free time to be able to do any live lessons. So I apologize for that. <laughs> hey, Layden. So. All right, you're here for, for a few minutes, Isha. Okay. Ah, did I find that old vision? I've been looking for it, Elise. I didn't find it yet. I don't know what happened to it, but I will look again. Uh, maybe I have to look on, like, the teacher side of things. Maybe, I don't know. Like, just just on, on the student side, I couldn't see it right away, but maybe if I can search. Um, I think I posted it a long time ago. Yeah, so I'll, I'll check again. Thanks for reminding me. Hello, Farida. I hope everyone's having a great day today, too. Yes, Arif, good idea. Hello, Marina. Marina. And now, are you ready for Christmas? Not quite ready. We got a couple of things up. Um, probably, probably we'll get out the Christmas decorations tomorrow, usually 1st of December. My kids and I, we, we like to put things up. Yeah. Hello, Anastasia. Nice to see you again. Jamil, nice. Hello from India. And Pappy's here. Do you have a runny nose, Joe? <laughs> probably. Probably. That's the problem. Every winter I get a cold. So, yeah, I have a runny nose. Sorry if it's too noisy. <laughs> Hello, Gungor and Joe the Great. All right, so I thought we could start off with, uh, what do we got here? How about some true or false questions to warm us up and have some fun here with, uh, with the people who are here? Let's start off. Let me get my pen. Merry Christmas in advance. Yes, hello. All right, let's do this one about uh, Marina. All right, so everybody, this is about, about Marina. <clears throat> I'm going to say a sentence about Marina, and I want you guys to, to vote. Is it true or false? Okay, true or false. Are you ready, Marina? Here we go. True or false, Marina puts milk in her coffee. Marina puts milk 
in her coffee. Is that true or false? What do you think? Roa says true. Outlander false. Maria says true. Pavlina thinks it's true. Okay. Anastasia true. Zakia says false. Perlaman true. Elise true. Arif says false. She prefers cream. Okay. All right. Sajad true. Poppy says false. We're getting 50 50 here. Yeah. Gungor true. False. False Maria. Maria. Marina doesn't like milk. Okay. All right. Maybe you guys are right. I'm not sure. Hey, French fries. <laughs> okay. So, Marina, you're going to have to let us know, true or false, do you put milk in your coffee? Oh, hello, Maria. All right. Marina, I like cream in my coffee, everybody. Oh, hey there, Rula. <laughs> so I'm sorry. She says, not milk. She's a cream person. And I think Arif, yeah, Arif probably should get two, uh, double points for that one because he called it. <laughs> All right. Very good. Yes, you're guessing right. All right. <clears throat> Let's do this one about Arif then. All right. The next one is about Arif. Okay. Hello, Zakiat. <laughs> Arif. All right. You add milk to your coffee. Okay. <laughs> Lolly's upset. Hey, JSEC. <laughs> How did I know? I've never met here. <laughs> no, nobody. Like, we just know each other here, and it's just true or false, just for fun, Sajad. Here's another one about Arif. Okay. Here we go, Arif. True or false, <clears throat> Arif is wearing something blue right now. Arif is wearing something blue right now. So it could be a blue shirt, blue pants, blue shorts, blue socks, something blue. Roa says false. Rula, uh, Pavlina says true. Rula says false. Herleman false. Oh, a lot of false. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow. False, 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 false. Maria says true. Lee <laughs> says true, his boxers are blue. <laughs> okay. All right. A little personal, but maybe. All right. What is the capital of Bulgaria? I think you better check Google for that. Yeah. Layden says true. Outlander says false. He's wearing something orange. <laughs> All right. All right. Yes, true. It was a sarong. Okay. Maybe. He wears white, you think. All right. Marina says true. A blue t shirt. <laughs> Hi, Zakia. <Zachary. laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, Arif, we got some people feel, uh, oh, hey, Nicoletta. Some people feel very strongly about this. <laughs> Arif only wears pink and red clothes. Okay. I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> right. False. All right. All right. Here we go. So, <laughs> Arif, let us know the truth. Uh, are you wearing something blue, true or false? Oh. Arif, true, I'm wearing a blue handsome shirt, and my runners are blue. He loves blue so much. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, and Nicoletta, you just got in with a false. false. <laughs> Megha wants you to change it. <laughs> All right. Very good. <clears throat> All right. Okay. I think this one will be good. This one. Let's do Elise now. Everybody, this one's about Elise. Elise from Poland. Okay, are you ready? This is about Elise. True or false, Elise can say I love you in four languages. Okay? True or false, Elise can say I love you in four languages. There you go. Pappy says true. French fries false. Pavlina true. Gungor true. 
Rula true. Maria says false. Outlander true. Zagia true. Herleman true. Nicoletta says true. Surely, even in more languages. Okay. True. She is multilingual. Well, JT could say she is multilingual. Yes, true. Zazad says false. Yeah, Arif thinks it's true. Don't know about Elise, but I can. <laughs> okay, Meg, I can. All right. Anastasia says false. True, and even more than th more than four. Maria says true. All right. I think I think most people are saying true on this one. And if I had to guess, I would probably say, oh, 20 languages. Oh, well, I don't know. No. Well, it says you can say I love you in four languages. So, Lolly, not only four, so at least four. That's the what I meant, at least four. So four, if you can say 20, then four is no problem. So, okay. The question, Roa, was Elise can say I love you in at least four languages. All right. Oh, you're gone for three minutes. You'll be back in the Okay, Pappy, we'll wait for you. <laughs> All right. Elise, is it true or false? Can you say I love you in at least four languages? Elise is going to let us know. It's true. Actually, more than four. There we go, everybody. Yes, more than four. So prove that. Yeah. <laughs> well, certainly she could do English. That was easy. And I think she could do Polish because she's in Poland. And there's a lot of countries around there. I, I imagine she can do it a lot. Hello, Sila. <laughs> You're very smart. Yeah. The the what I I can't say I love you in many languages, but I learned how to say hurry up in many languages. I find that that's more of a useful word in in, in for teachers. Hurry up. I can do about five or six. Said Jed. Okay. All right. Let's do a little survey. For everybody here, how many languages can you say I love you in? Write down the number. How many languages do you think you can say I love you in? Let's let's get a let's see. Rula can do six. Okay. Sajad, there's five or six. All right. Oh, Meg Hawk, ten. JSEC four. Pavlina, five. Outlander, four. Maria, four. Nicoletta, four or five. Sila, five. Only two, Arabic and English. Okay, Rua, that's fine. Herleman, nine. Woo. Just three. English, my native language, and Japanese. Okay. Lolly. I said so lolly. <laughs> lolly, you never say that. Come on. French people are very romantic people, I think. Anastasia, five. Zakia, six. Mar Marina, six. Alex, five. Okay. Well, I don't know if I can say it. I love you in very many languages. I, You know, I love you. I think in Japanese, Ishteru? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Car five. You can say I love you. <laughs> I love you times four do you mean four languages outlander or just four times i love you i love you i love you i love you <laughs> okay all right let's do another one all right let's try this one uh let's try this one how about we do anastasia all right anastasia this one's about you okay Okay, are you ready? This is a true or false question about Anastasia. All right, Maria can do can do six. Okay, here we go. True or false about Anastasia? Anastasia has been to Germany. 
Is that true or false? Anastasia has been to, she has visited Germany. Megha says false. Roa, true. Sajad, true. Sila, false. Nicoletta, true, true, true. Layden, false. Oh, oh, they're coming pretty fast. <laughs> false, false, false. True, false. But in the future, she will. Okay, Arif, all right. JSEC says yes many times. True, Marina. All right, says true. Zakia says true. All right. All right, okay. True, she loves Germany. <laughs> Okay, very good. All right, so Anastasia, you're going to have to let us know the truth. Is it true or false? <laughs> have you visited Germany? Have you been to Germany? <laughs> false, I don't know. Nobody knows. True, yes, I have been there, but only once. She has been to Germany once, everybody. All right, I got a problem with this light here. It's flashing above my head. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, everybody. I had to turn off the light. It was, it was blinking, and now it looks a little darker in here. I'm sorry about that. I got to maybe change the light bulb or something. It was blinking. All right, very good. Everybody's good. All right, so so uh, we did that. You should pay the bill. That's true. After <laughs> after I'm done this live session, I've got some bills on my desk that I'm going to pay. All right, double check for the electricity bill. I was right. If it weren't, I would have been unsubscribed. <laughs> yes, two correctly for Roa. Okay, Arif was two and one. Herleman three and one. Okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I was just, uh, yeah, I had to pick somebody who I, I'm not sure if she's, I can't, uh, my problem is I can't remember what countries everybody's from. So I said, Anastasia, oh boy, I hope she's not from Germany. <laughs> All right. So now everybody, okay. Let's do let's do some words about education. So I'll say a word, a sentence, and you guys can fill in the blank, and it'll be a word connected to education. All right, ready? Uh, Zakia was always right. Nice. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. So this is a, a verb, and it starts with the letter. A. Okay. Here we go. We're ready. Okay. If you mm, an institution such as a school or church, you go to it regularly. If you mm, an institution, just type this in institution. Ish. like a uh, school or church. Oh, I think everybody's getting it already. You go to it regularly. Yes. Attend. Yeah, so we wanted the verb, Maria. So if you attend, yeah. Very good. Yeah, yeah. If you attend an institution like a school or church, you go to it regularly. All right? An attendant is somebody who works at the church or works at a school, right? And, uh, yeah. And the noun for what teachers take is they take attendance. Okay? Attend. All right, very good. I attend your live lessons. There you go, Elise. Perfect. Okay, Asila. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Institute or institution? Um, either is possible. 
Yeah. Um, an institute could be usually like a school or some kind of academy. An institution is just some kind of organization. Okay. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry you have to leave, Sheila. You have a great day, too. All right. What's our next one? Here's our next one. Maybe a little harder. Okay. All right. This one is a noun that starts with the letter C. A mm is a piece of written work. All right. A mm is a piece of written work. So this is a noun that starts with C. It has something to do with school. Outlander, that's a good one. Who else can get this one? Yes, Pavlina. Wonderful. Anybody else? Yeah, Nicoletta. Maria, Roa, wonderful. Yeah, a composition. Yes. Is a piece of written work. Very good. Uh, cake. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you write a cake. You can bake a cake. All right. A composition is a piece of written work. All right. Does anybody have any questions about that word or that vocabulary or anything similar to that? Uh, an essay and a composition. So a composition just means written work. So that could be a story. It could be a poem. It could be, you know, something. An essay is a particular kind of composition. Okay. Written on paper. Um, no, it doesn't have to be written on paper. It could be on a computer. Oh, a new word, at least. Okay. Yeah. So composition is the noun, and the verb is compose. Okay. Com compose. That's a new word. Okay. That's good. So, yeah, composition is a piece of written work. So it could be an essay, could be a story, could be a poem, could be a song, right? You can even compose a song. Any kind, any kind of written work. So it's a pile of piece of work. It's a piece of work, yes. It can be an essay, but it's not only an essay, Marina. Could there be a composition of flowers? Um, you can compose things. The word compose kind of means to put stuff together. So you can compose, uh, right? Like if you want to put flowers together and take a picture or paint a picture of them, kind of. But compose, mostly it's used for writing. Okay? Nice. All right. Okay. Let's go on to our next one. Our next one. This is a noun that starts with a D. All right? Okay. Is creation. Um, I wouldn't say creation, Lolly. A creation is uh, something else. Compose usually is with writing. Creation kind of sounds like you create something, and that can include writing, but it also includes like inventing or painting or, or building. Yeah. All right. Okay, here we go. Here's our next one. This is a noun that starts with D. All right. A mm is a university certificate gained after completion. A uh, mm is a university. What did I say? For city. Certificate gained after completion. 
All right. What do we got? You guys are very fast. So diploma, diploma, degree, diploma. Yes. Okay. So we got basically e, both of these words are similar. The word I was looking for is a degree. Okay, a degree is a university certificate gained after completion. Uh, in in Canada, uh, in North America, the difference between a degree and uh, diploma, degree is the major and diploma is the certificate. I think you're quite, you're quite, yeah, there's a little bit different. Diploma, how would I explain this? The way we talk about it in Canada a degree comes from university. A diploma is from high school or uh, community community college. All right. A, a degree comes from university. A diploma is from high school or community college, usually. Um, but if you said diploma, everybody understands what you mean, but I think technically most people would say a university degree, high school diploma. And if you get a, say, if you go to community college here in Canada and learn how to uh, fix cars or uh, cut hair or, or uh, you know, your construction, do construction, you become a carpenter, then you get a diploma. All right. And but university is more. Uh, no, no, you can get a bachelor's degree is also an undergraduate degree. Yeah, so diploma is uh, is for community college or high school. But in some cases, I think Arif is right. The diploma actually counts for the actually piece of paper. All right, but the degree is kind of the the what you have achieved. I've got a bachelor's degree. I've got a major, a master's degree, okay? But in Canada, we, we mostly say the difference between university and other types of schools, all right? All right. Okay, all right, here we go. Here's another one. Here's another word. This is this is a noun and it starts with the letter certificate is a piece of paper. Yep. Here's the question: difference between college and university, Canada, U.S. Uh, okay, so Jad, that's a good question. In in uh, the United States, I don't think they have a they don't when they say, "Hey, my son is in college, my daughter's in college," they could mean community college or they could mean university. They, they, they same. And some people in Canada say that here too, that college and university are the same. But I think more people in Canada uh, say that university means where you get a, a bachelor's degree and you study academic topics, history, psychology, English, mathematics. Okay. That's a university. A college is where you study trades. Okay. Fixing cars, uh, carpentry, uh, 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 learning how to do hair. <laughs> okay, so that's more a community college. Okay, that's the way. That's the way we de describe it here in, in Canada. Okay, nice. All right. So the next one is a noun. Let me just type it out here first before I say it. <laughs> okay. And this is a noun that starts with the letter E. University of higher college, mostly for undergraduate purposes. Um, well, Sajad, uh, a, a degree is also a university and you can get undergraduate and graduate. So that's a bachelor's degree or a master's degree. Please pray for my country, Iraq. 
Okay, Roa. I, I pray for every country in the world. I want everybody to be safe. How about teacher and lecturer? Teacher who works in lecturer, works in university. Um, I think you're right, Zaki. A, a teacher is normally works in uh, a school. Could be high school, middle school. A lecturer, I, I would say... So if you're a lecturer, you kind of you go into a classroom and you lecture. So there's no, it's not really interactive. The the, the lecturer speaks, everybody is quiet and listens. Um, where I work, I think they try and call us. What are we called? We are called in language instructors. Okay, yeah. All right. So here, anyway, here's the next one, and it starts with the letter E. M mm, is the study of money and trade in society. M mm, is the study of money and trade in society. Starts there's a noun that starts with a letter E. Marina's got it. Outlander's got it. Layden almost got it. You need the S on it. All right. All right, so we have three different words there, but the, the actual, the ones that's the study, the major, is economics. Society, let me write it down. Society. Yeah, economics. Okay, so there's three different words there. Economics, economic, and econ economy. Okay, what's the difference between economics and economy? Okay, professor next year. All right, make hug. That's great. So, Papi, economics, that's what you study at university. Okay, that's uh. Supply and demand and how people spend their money, how people spend their time, all right? Economics, all right? The economy, that talks about business in a country, okay? So you can study economics at university. You read about the economy in your newspaper, okay? The economy. How is the economy in your country? Is it going up? Is it going down? Okay, but economics is not up or down. It's just the study. Economics is like physics or biology. It's a subject. Okay, economic, Laden, economic, that's an adjective that means uh, it's related to economics or related to economy. All right, but it can mean low cost. All right. So it could be related to economics. So it could be an economic report. That means just related. Or I want an economic price. <laughs> so something cheap. All right. Very good. Economical is also cheaper. Cheaper than usual. All right. So uh, having a picnic is an economical way to uh, go out to eat. Hello, Pankaj. All right, here we are. Where are we? Okay, okay. Here's another one. This uh, this is a noun. And it starts with the letter G. Okay. Your mm in an exam is the mark that you get. Your mm in an exam is the mark that you get. What do you think? Yeah, Sajad's got it. Marina, Anastasia, Papi, wonderful. Maria, Pankaj has got it. Pavlina, grade. Yeah, you're grade. All right. Yes. Your grade is the in an exam is the 
mark that you get. Nice. All right. And grade, well, there's two meanings. So grade means, hey, what grade did you get on that A, B, C? What did you get? Your grade is also your year in school. Okay. Um, here, in, here in Canada, in North America, we do grades 1 to 12, usually. All right, grade one to six is usually elementary school. Seven, eight, nine is middle school and 10, 11, 12 is high school. Some differences in different places, but those are basically elementary school, middle school, high school. And I've met people from other countries where they don't do that. They go, elementary school is grades one to six, middle school one to three, high school one to three. But we put them all together, grade one to 12. Okay, great, okay, one to six in Poland, okay. How about degree, is the same as grade? Uh, no, no, your degree, like I have an English degree, all right, and I have a teaching degree, but that doesn't tell me, like, did I have A's or B's? Like, what did I get in my classes? So your grade is, what was your mark in the class? Scale of intensity, yeah, all right. Does anybody else have any questions about grade or mark, anything like that? Not yet, no. Uh, children start school at five or six. Um, I think here it's normally, if you turn five by December 31st of, of grade one. So I was four years old when I started school, but I turned five in grade one. How about semester? A semester is part of the year. Okay, so uh, I think at our university, we have two semesters. Well, maybe three, two main semesters, the fall semester, and then after winter, you get the spring semester. There is a short summer semester for any students who want to stay and study uh, for their degree in the summertime. But the two main semesters are fall and spring. A grade for an earthquake? Um, do we say grade? I don't know about that one. I'd, uh, I'd double check that one. All right. Okay, let me go, the next in, okay. Uh, uh, okay, here we go. This is, uh, great, 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 some people pronounce it same. Arif, um, so the last two, great and great, are exactly the same. Great and great. So great means wonderful, G-R-E-A-T, wonderful, G-R-A-T-E, great, uh, maybe to grate cheese, put on your pizza, or a grate, some bars that are over a window or over a hole. Same grade is just the pronunciation. Instead of a T, it's a D. Great, grade. Almost the same. Mark is level, Carolina. Uh, well, not exactly, so level. So for example, in my, where I teach now, my class is a level four class. My wife, she teaches a level three class, okay? So your mark means what did you get on the test or what did, what did you get on the exam? So uh, if you get like a say 95%, okay, that's a grade but you can also say it in letters like A or A plus. That's the grade. But your level is how high are you? Okay, so here's, where am I? The next one. This is a noun. Uh, is it the same grade and value? Not exactly, not exactly, Zakia. Your grade, like if you did a test for me and I gave you 80%, 
or 75 percent i give you a b plus that's your grade okay value that's a different word that's got something bigger value could be you are you are super valuable to your family okay you're also valuable to me so it's not the same like i'm not saying you are 75 percent of a person <laughs> okay all right yes yeah, score fairy die your score is a talk that someone is Okay, so here we go. <laughs> That's okay, Outlander. It's okay to ask questions. I, 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 questions are good. I want to clear things up. So here's our next one. This is a noun that starts with the letter L. This is a noun that starts with the letter L. All right. A mm is a talk that someone gives to teach people about something. A noun that starts with the letter L. All right, let's have a drink. My, my, me first. Yeah. So lecture, yeah, that's what we wanted. A uh, lecture. Nice. All right. A lecture is a talk. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about that? The difference between lecture, lecturer. The lecturer is the person. All right. No, if you're okay, we're okay. Thumbs up. No. Yes, Lolly, you can say attend a lecture. I'm going to attend a lecture. All right. Everybody all the thumbs up. Okay, here's our next one. This is a this is a noun that starts with the letter P. A noun that starts with the letter P. Here we go. A senior teacher at university is called a... A senior teacher at a university at university is called a... What do you think? A professor, yeah. Professor. <laughs> professor. All right, okay. Does anybody have any questions about that one? It's called a pro, let me just type this in, so make it official. All right, uh, professor. A principal teacher? No, we wouldn't call it a principal teacher. No, a principal is uh, the leader, like the boss of a high school or a middle school or elementary school. That's the that's what we call a principal. Uh, are you a professor? No, Jacek. <laughs> uh, to be a professor, I, I don't teach I don't teach a content class, and I think most professors where I work have a PhD. They have a doctorate degree, so a professor of history. Okay, so for me, I, I, my work calls me an instructor. All right, so I just teacher is fine. <laughs> All right, does anybody have another question about, about professors or teachers? A director, a director, it would be somebody uh, that's the boss usually of a private school. All right. So, for example, where I work, our department, we have a director. Okay. That's the boss of our school. Uh, 
the at a university department, the boss would be a dean, also a professor, but a dean. A junior teacher. Um, no, uh, a junior teacher, I think, would be called maybe a part-time professor or associate professor. Yeah. Director is same as principal, usually. Yes, Carolina. What's the difference between a doctor and a professor degree? Um, all right. So, Diana, a professor degree, there's no professor degree. There's three levels of degree. There's a bachelor's degree. That's four years. Maybe now one or two years afterwards is a master's degree. And after that is a doctorate de degree. Okay? Doctorate. So a doctorate means you're a PhD. If you have a PhD in medicine, then you are a doctor. Okay? Everybody calls you doctor and you can give medical advice. But you can also get a PhD in history. You have a PhD in accounting. Right? So that means you can teach at a university. All right. What else have we got? Tutor and instructor difference. Um, you there. There doesn't have to be any difference. Uh, a tutor is usually a for a private thing, Lolly, like a private tutor. An instructor is like a teacher, and that could be in any school. Instructor and teacher. I don't think there's any difference there. Um, they're both general words. You can use them almost everywhere. Senior professor with a degree and responsibility than the rest of the professors. Um, the dean, said so the dean is the, the the leader of the of the department, and they would have more professors. So you have professors. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. All right. What else have we got? All right, here's another word. This is a noun that starts Oh hi, hi Cameron. All right, so this is a noun that starts with an R. How to call a new teacher? Uh, just teacher. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Your mm are the marks you get in a school. Lecturer and professor, maybe no difference. Maybe no difference. All right. Maybe it's just what they want to be called, Yuna. But professor generally is just a teacher at a university. A lecturer, same. Okay. Your mm are the marks you get in a school. Not quite. Ranks, no, records, grades. Well, it's all your grades together, Maria. Okay. It's a plural word, plural noun, are the... All right, Pavlina, so you're very close, but we want a plural. Katarina's got it there. JSEC's got it, yeah. Farida, we wanted plural, though. Oh, hi, Kiko. <laughs> All right. Yeah, your results. There we go. Your results are the marks you get in a school. So let's imagine... My daughter has an A in English and a B in math and an A in science. Those are her results. All right. Your records, uh, those might be the, the official transcript that the school could send to you. All right. Or if you're in high school, you want to send your records to uh, a university to see if you can get in. All right. Your results are your marks. Right? What did you get in all your classes? What were the results? Okay. Everybody got that? All right. Nice.
Nice. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'll call, uh, I'm just typing it in here. So I'm ready for you. Okay, so this is an adjective. Starts with the letter S. Adjective that starts with the letter S. And this is called, M school is also called high school. All right. All right. So Lynn, the difference between results means all your grades. What did you get in math, English, science, social studies, history, economics? Those are the results, all of them. Your grade is you got an A in English. All right, senior school, not quite. Uh, Pavlina's got it. Faraday's got it. Elise, yes. Yes, we're looking for secondary. Yeah, the word was secondary. Secondary school is also called high school. All right. So it's secondary. Uh, very good question, Arif. Secondary because elementary school is also called primary school. All right. Grades one, one to six or maybe one to nine at primary school. Secondary school is uh, what's called senior secondary. Pankaj, we don't, we don't call anything s senior secondary. You could call it senior high school is compared to junior high school. All right. Does anybody else have any other questions about that? Why about secondary school? So middle school is also called junior high school. Okay. Anybody else have a question? To adults, I I don't know what you mean, said Sajad. I don't know what that question means. Senior, oh, if you say a senior, that just means a senior citizen. That's an old person over 65 years old. From which grade? Marina, usually high school is grade 10, 11, and 12. But in some cities or some places, it's 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Okay. Sam, uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Let's have a drink. Oh, I do love water. I think you guys know that. All right. Okay, here's another one. Ish. Okay, we're ready for our next one. This one is a verb. We know. <laughs> we know. All right, so this next one, uh, this is a verb, and it starts with the letter T. Okay, here we go. If you mm a course at school, you choose to study it. If you mm a course at school, you choose to study it. Yes, Sajad's got it. Well, Kiko, took would have to be you chose. So I wanted the, the simple present tense. Yeah, take. Uh, not take up, though, Alex. Just take. Uh, teach? No. no. Then you're not studying. You're teaching it. All right. If you take a course. Oh, Yuna. <laughs> okay. Hello there, Yuna's father. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hope uh, I hope you're having a wonderful day in Indonesia. All right. You take a course. Does anybody have any questions about take? Or any other vocabulary in that sentence? 
and uh, you can enroll in a course, but you can enroll in a school, Zakia. But you can take a course or take a class, but you don't take a school. But enroll means sign up. So you can sign up, enroll in a course, and enroll in a school, both. All right. Anybody else have a question about take or an take a course? Nope. If we're if we're thumbs up, if we're clear. But if you if you can think of a question, that's okay. If you have a, if your father is nearby, say hi for me. <laughs> Anybody? Do <laughs> do children take their class or the school to no? So, no, no, children take classes, all right? Layden, children take classes, and the school organizes them for them, okay? All right, we're very good. All right, here's another one then. All right, here's the next one. This is a verb also starts with T, okay? Here we go. If you mm, to do something, you are taught skills on how to do something. If you mm, to do something, you are taught skills. Lots of thumbs up. Okay, good. Uh, if you are mm, to do something, Not kind. Uh, close. Marina is close, but it doesn't have to be the past tense. Because then it would be if you are trained. I just wanted if you train. Okay, yeah. If you train to do something, you are taught skills on how to do something. Train. Okay, uh, you thought I heard R. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I have to go back and check the video now. I didn't mean to say R. I mean, my sentence is, if you train to do something. But if you are trained, yeah, that would work. All right. Uh, so train, train is the present tense, trained, uh, are trained is talking about the passive. Okay. Does anybody have an ex any questions about different words here? Train, trying, try, taught. You want to know the difference between anything here? Yeah, train. If you train, that means you are studying to do something. Okay. Who's got a, anybody, somebody? No, you're okay. All right. Very good. And I think that's the, that's the last of my, uh, my uh, education words. All right. Okay. But uh, we can still have some fun. Train and practice. Practice? What about that? Uh, they're all the same. Uh, train, to train and practice are very similar. And practice and practice is just uh, American British spelling. Training and leading. Very different. Like, uh, you know, the, the, the president of your country is leading your country, not training. Okay. Dogs are trained and people are educated. Um, no, no, you can still be trained, right? Uh, trained just means you practice a lot so you can do it when you want to do it. To train and... Uh, so, Zakia, the spelling's a little bit different there. Couch, that's what you sit on, like a sofa. Z-O-A-C-H, coach, to train and coach, yeah. So that's usually for sports. 
Does train use in every tropic? Train in science? <clears throat> no, no. I'd say, all right, so I'd say that you would be taught, right? You're taught in science, but you could be trained how to do something in science. So, for example, in medical school, people got to take needles, take out blood, put in medicine. They got to train nurses how to do that. Teach is another word, but trained kind of sounds like there's more hands on. Okay. Right. They got to show you. You have to practice it with your hands. Training. Okay. No idioms today. I do have some. Joe is a trained teacher. Yes. Well, I, I was I was educated to become a teacher. Does train use for everything? Okay, we got that. All right, we're good. All right. All right. Uh, these next, I've got some words here on a card. Thanks for this season. It's awesome and courteous, patient enough to answer people's questions. When you do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, getting questions is a really good thing. So I like them a lot. All right. So here I have some expressions that uh, I'm going to type in and you guys tell me if you know what it is. Okay. Here we go. These all have the word baby in them. All right. Here we go. What does this word mean? Baby blue. Baby blue. Everything but the kitchen sink. Joe's lessons. Yeah, throw everything in there. There we go. Marina's got it. Yeah, light blue. Light blue, yes. Baby blue, baby blue. Yeah. Very light blue. Also, maybe sometimes called sky blue. Yeah. Very similar. Okay. Light blue. Instead of navy or dark blue, it's a light blue. All right. I am late. That's okay. We've been here about an hour. Okay. Yeah. So baby blue equals light blue. Time screenshot when it is about expression or idioms. I I <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I don't know what you mean. All right. <laughs> A time screenshot. Don't know. <laughs> All right. So the next one, the next baby word, do you know have you heard this one? What does this mean? Baby boom. Yeah, light blue. Oh, I said light blue. Uh, I meant light blue. All right. Uh, time for to screenshot for Joe because, uh, oh, okay. You're doing a screenshot. Okay. So it gives you time to, oh, you can shut it off. Okay. A lot of babies are born. All right, Pappy. See you later. Are born. Yeah, so baby boom. Uh, another way of saying that, I think you're right. Baby boom means uh, not just one baby. Yeah. A population explosion. All right. So uh, after World War II, Right from 1945 up to 1965, there was a huge increase in, in, in North America, certainly, of many, many, many babies were born. So it was called a population explosion. The United States population and Canada's population increased really fast. It was called the baby boom. All right. Okay. Do you know this one? Yeah, increased baby's appearance in our world. Yes, yeah. What about this one? Do you know what this is called? A baby grand. A baby grand. Have you ever heard that one? Uh, 
Uh, adopt a big baby? No. <laughs> Katarina, you're shame. Me too. <laughs> no. A baby grand. I don't know. Okay. Very good. A lot of money. A grand is a thousand dollars, but no, it's got nothing to do with money. Healthy people, no. Here we go. A baby grand is a type of piano. All right. A grand piano is a great big piano. A baby grand is a smaller piano. Okay. A baby grand is a type. Baby on the on board. Well, baby on board. Yes, you have that sometimes. All right. Okay. Have you ever heard this one before? This might be a new expression here too. Baby's breath. <laughs> Baby's breath. Do you know that one? Innocent? No. Fresh? No. No, it's a thing. <clears throat> Maybe this is a new one, too. <laughs> ah, Pavlina has got it. Yes. Yeah. All right. Very good. Yeah. Baby's breath. Baby's breath is filler in a flower arrangement. Okay. So if you're having a bunch of flowers, like in a flower uh, shop, maybe there's roses or <laughs> tulips or something, but they put in extra little things to fill it up, add different color. That's called baby's breath. It's a kind of flower that fills in flower arrangements. Yeah, fair enough. Little white flowers called baby's breath. Okay, here's the next one. I think everybody will get this one. It's, it's all one word. <clears throat> I think you know this one. What is a babysitter? Why baby? Because uh, I'm teaching words that have the word baby in it. That's why. <laughs> like a nanny, yes. To keep an eye on. Au pair, yeah. Also, in other words. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the baby, looking after a baby, a woman who keeps a baby. Well, wouldn't say keep, because keep means, you know, take it and never give it back. Uh, how about takes care? Yeah. All right. A babysitter, a person who watches your children while you are away. Ah, baby sister. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's my baby sister. Yeah. But babysitter is a person who watches your children while you are away. Okay. You got that one. Okay. Um, I think I think everybody's going to get this one. How about this? Uh, babysitter is only applied to babies. Yeah. So a nurse. A, 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 a nurse can be a babysitter, but if a nurse is looking after your grandmother, you wouldn't call her a babysitter, right? She's a healthcare professional. <laughs> a crybaby, yes. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. So, 
Yeah, a crybaby is someone who cries or pouts or whines a lot. Yeah, and very annoying, a crybaby. Do you guys understand the word pouts and whines? Have you heard those words before? Pouts and whines? All right. So to pout, to pout means if somebody, you're not happy, you go, <laughs> right? You do that little thing with your lip. <laughs> Children do that sometimes. And some adults do that too. <laughs> All right. And wine, not wine, drinking wine. Wine is the voice. Uh, please, <laughs> please. Right. That's whining. All right. So whining is something a lot of children do. Uh, some adults also do it, but they shouldn't do it. Children also shouldn't do it, but you can, children are children. They're not, yeah. So to complain, to complain, but in a very childish way. Yeah. Uh, uh. All right. Okay. So a crybaby, that's somebody who's a crybaby. <laughs> Don't be a crybaby. All right, everybody, my, <laughs> my family is uh, waking up and I think I have to do something, either go get some Christmas decorations or, or get ready for something. So it looks like something's being moved down and I have to clean this stuff up too. All right. Well, does that because they're human too? Like, baby, yes, got it. All right. So I want to thank everybody for coming. And uh, uh, I'm going to do this again. I'll do another live lesson tomorrow. I, for some reason, right, I used to have <laughs> our notes right here on the side, but I can't figure out how to get those back. Uh, YouTube updated stuff on me, and I can't find the buttons. <laughs> so it's off to the side. So that's too bad. All right. All right. Yes, I'll come back tomorrow, 9 o'clock, with some more. <laughs> more, more, uh, more vocabulary and more idioms, more jokes. <laughs> All righty. I would love to get the chat part back. Yes, it's uh, there's got to be a way to do it. It's just I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. So thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.